dealers come out. Everybody is outside till the killers come out. You ain't eating, you just act full. I'm impactful. Dozen funerals in a month, I got that full. I will give it to niggas in all rap forms. Ignatius out right now on all platforms. Someone has come out and said that there are a lot of powerful black men in Hollywood that be trying to take some back shots on his hind parts. Mm. This brother right here, mm. Christian Keys, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I, you like that picture, don't you, Moochie? You like that? You like that? Mm. You ain't going to say nothing? Of course could go, but I, I like that picture. <laughs> He's okay. nice to look at. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, he been talking, y'all. He's dropped some videos about things that happened in Hollywood and what he thought about Tyler Perry and Tyler Perry rebuttal. So let's take a look at this and then me and Moochie will let you know how we feel. In case you haven't seen Christian's video talking about his abuser, here it is. So my brother hit me, he was a little concerned about safety when dealing with powerful people. The good news is um, several family members and my attorney have the proof, the video description, the breakdown, the audio, the names of the people, um, all of that. So if anything happens, then anything happens to me, then that information will come out. And so, and I trust God. I'm out here doing, setting up scholarships and and doing right by people. God ain't gonna let nobody do no dumb stuff here. So, love y'all, me. I appreciate y'all. Tyler Perry has reacted to the accusations that Christian Keys has made. On December 16th, Christian made some very serious allegations where he said he was abused and assaulted by a male entertainment figure. He said this figure is someone who he considered to be a brother and a mentor. These comments from Christian has caused a huge amount of controversy. A huge part of this controversy is that a lot of fans are accusing Tyler Perry of being the man that Christian is accusing of abuse. This is because Christian has been on record calling Tyler a mentor and he said that his abuser was someone who he considered to be a mentor. Despite Christian not naming anyone, Tyler has gotten a lot of backlash from Christian's fans. One fan wrote about this saying, Tyler Perry, your time has come, and I've been waiting a very, very long time for this. I really think it's him, and I just know his career will be ended over this. Another fan said, I just know Tyler Perry is at home sweating. I feel like everybody thinks it's him, and there's a great chance that it is him. I just hope Christian is okay, as it must have been a lot for him to endure. And finally, one more fan said, People want it to be Tyler Perry because they dislike him no matter the facts. How about wait until more details come out before you attempt to jump on the destroy Tyler Perry bandwagon. Leave jealousy, hate, and other personal feelings out of it. After this happened, Tyler Perry made a suspicious Instagram comment where he's seemingly alluding to this drama. A quote was posted on Instagram saying, when the vultures surround you, try not to die. Tyler commented underneath this quote saying, ain't that too right? People in this world are hateful and horrible. Because Tyler's comment happened on the same day as Christian's accusations were made, a lot of people online interpreted this was Tyler's way of saying that it's not him and that the public are hateful people. And Christian Keys came out and dropped something the other day basically saying that is not Tyler Perry. I didn't pull this up for us to try to guess who it is. We don't know. I pulled this up because, ladies and gentlemen, this is something that happens in Hollywood on a day-to-day fucking basis. People, Which is why y'all hear me oftentimes gripe about capitalism. Because when you're trying to come up in certain industries, well, pretty much in every industry, you need a mentor. And when you're trying to come up in Hollywood, a lot of the things you need, you have to get powerful people involved that have either access to resources, have the resources, or have money, or have all of it. And I can just tell you right now, people is not always just giving of their damn heart charitably just because they're sweet people, no. They like you. They like something about you. They see some value in you. It's never, ever done just out of pure altruistic purposes unless you truly relate it to this person. And with this guy right here, he's a good looking brother. He's fit. He's in shape. And there's a lot of folks who try to pretend like they're not gay in Hollywood that are. And I could see people trying him the same way men have tried women. Having said that, Moochie, 
how does someone who's trying to come up still be able to overcome this and come up without having to give up their dignity? You have to know your, some people, it goes by how your morals are. Some people don't want to do, do, you know, they're not into stuff like that. So they don't want to be entertained by stuff like that. And now it's, to me, this is hard because the, it's everywhere. It's in, it's in everywhere in the entertainment business. It's is now we're it, seeing it, it in, in in politics. It's everywhere. It's not just entertainment. It's everywhere it's now. Everywhere. Everywhere. Um, I'll tell you something that bothers me. If you know that the person, let's just say you you are with a person who's mentoring you or whatever, and they've mm -hmm. hinted that they kind of like you more than just helping you come up. Another thing you shouldn't do, don't lead them on. If they're flirting with you, don't flirt back with them. Don't. I mean, that goes to Moochie's point about morals. If you know someone has been hanging with you mentoring you and you can kind of feel that they've got those more feelings for you than just i'm gonna help you up don't entertain that and see how much the help they're going to really give you now you know yeah. a lot of people say well no that ain't my fault if he like what he see i'll let him talk to me however you want to well if you talk too much like that he's going to try something and i'm not saying the r word i mean he might try to say you know let me take you out get you in a dark corner try to kiss you whatever something that's not as grotesque as the R word. And if you get offended by that, you can't then say that you didn't see it coming because you've allowed this person to flirt with you to that point. At the end of the day, it's you like- You gotta know when to draw the line. It, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was gonna say, you've got to have a line you draw. And maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe your line is you're okay with them flirting but you ain't okay with them going further. If that's the case, then let them know. Hey, you can say I look nice. You can say my dress look, you say I look good in this dress. You say I got a fat butt, but that as far as I want you to go with it. That's all that's gonna ever be. You complimenting how good I look. You complimenting what, you know, your fantasies might be to me, whatever. I don't wanna go that far. And then if the person really don't care about you, <laughs> you'll see what happened. But I think Moochie oftentimes some people trying to come up, they don't say those things because they know that if that allure of you can possibly have me, I'm just not going to say nothing is gone. They feel like whoever's trying to help them is not going to help. Them. What say you, sis? Yeah. Well, I don't, to me, it's like he, he was, you got to look at it like this too. If somebody messed up where they broke, sometimes they feel like, well, you know, I could stomach this for a little while and then, you know, it'll stop. But I feel like once it start, it's going to get worse. Yeah. It ain't once no going you, back. Once you, once you, it's just going to get worse from there. Yeah, and I and, mean, I'm not being You should be laughing not... at, you should, you should be putting the person in their place right away if they crossing the line. And you don't entertain or laugh it off. None of that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. You know, uh, let let them know, let them know what the line is, so that they don't cross it. You know, let them know what the line is. So post your comments, y'all. Let us know what you think about Christian Keys. Got some more super chats from the big homie Steve, who says, "I want you to mentor me in streaming, but I ain't for the extras." <laughs> Steve, believe me, I ain't got no extra for you. Okay. I ain't got no extra for you. Hold that. Next, he says, Moochie is so right. It's everything everywhere right now, but it has always been. Did we just not know Diddy is crazy? Yeah, we knew. We've been knew Diddy was crazy. We've been knew it. We've been knew it. But I have to say, Moochie, I'm enjoying the way 50 Cent is trolling them. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't. I shouldn't take pleasure in that. I, kn I know I'm wrong. I know I shouldn't. But Moochie, I'm enjoying the way 50 Cent been trolling my man. What do you think about yeah. 50 and his behavior? I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Keep in mind, he was blackballed in New York. Everybody's wondering where all this animosity comes from. Animosity comes from with, with 
between 50 and him. He was black, right. bald in New York, y'all, back in the day. He had to go to he had to go to the West Coast to get his record deal. Dr. So Dre and of them. course he all he gonna troll all of them. And who knows? He being inside with Dr. Dre and all of them, he probably found out the truth with everything. That's why he trolling him. 